following the discharge of former Transport Minister S. Iswaran from a hospital in Australia. His doctor advised him not to travel for 12 days, the Attorney General's Chambers AGC said on Wednesday, March 6. Iswaran, who faces corruption charges, is currently in Australia, where he is allowed to remain after the court granted him permission to stay on for 16 more days. He is currently out on bail and was initially allowed to leave Singapore for Australia between February 16 and March 4 to help his son settle into university. Under the terms of the extension, Iswaran must surrender his passport to Singapore's Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau on March 20. In response to queries from CNA, the AGC said the prosecution was informed on Tuesday that Iswaran had been discharged from hospital that day. Iswaran is represented by a team led by senior counsel Devinder Singh, which filed an application for the extension on Monday, the final day of the window he was initially granted approval for. Under the terms of the extension, Iswaran will have to report to an investigation officer daily via video call to provide updates on his medical condition and whether there will be any issues regarding his return to Singapore on March 19. Iswaran was charged on January 18, months after a probe into him was made public. He pleaded not guilty to all 27 charges. Among the charges, two were of corruptly obtaining bribes from billionaire Ong Bang Sang. 24 of obtaining valuables as a public servant and one of obstructing justice. Mr. Ong, who owns the rights to the Singapore Grand Prix, has not been charged. Iswaran was a key figure in the government's engagements with Formula One. He resigned as a minister and from the ruling People's Action Party in January. If convicted of obtaining a valuable thing as a public servant, Iswaran can be jailed for up to two years. Fined, or both. If convicted of corruptly obtaining gratification under the Prevention of Corruption Act, he can be jailed for up to seven years, fined up to 100,000 Singapore dollars, or both. If convicted of obstructing justice, he can be jailed for up to seven years, fined, or both.